Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy, the DSG Prodigy, and I'm back with another YouTube video and today, or tonight, I don't know when this video is gonna, um, get out, but, if you will know. Anyway, we are continuing Heavy Rain, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support on the channel, and on the series, it means a lot. Make, um, it would mean a lot if you just smack the like button, if you wanna see me upload the the heavy rain more consistently and more early earlier just let me know down in the comment section just drop a like now that will let me know just keep dropping some support and i'll keep dropping these for you guys anyway i love you so much i love you all so much um but yeah so make sure you do that make sure you subscribe if you are new thank you so much for 130 subs i believe yeah this is part this is part 10 so we are on mad jack we we just slipped off of, um, of shooting that guy, and, and, uh, Madison getting kidnapped, and we had to get out. So, uh, yeah, so let's get right into it and see what this episode has in store for us today. Looks like, looks like we are Detective Jaden. What you doing in there? Nam and Jaden, FBI. Big. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Not the car I'm looking for. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. Not much chance of analyzing anything for this mode. Might stand a better chance of finding something in the garage. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks.
same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Size 10, most likely a visitor. Not the right car either. Gary comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it, killer's car was here. On your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You little 
Scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't really be able to talk, will ya, Jack? What crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man? No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, God. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. To know where Scott Shelby. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. do not look done.
Egg should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well... Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Excuse me, I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October. Again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me!
count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen, Right. Uh, John! My foot. 
My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. He never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a park full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like he a storm's be coming. I guess I better be <clears> home. <throat> What a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on. Let's get back in the car. I, I still think it's the father or son. Billionaire's son. They could hurt Wait. Him. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Nineteen seventy-seven. That was the year my mama was born. So it looks like we're Madison. We're Maddie Moo. Clemmy Poo. I miss Clemmy Poo. Can't wait till season four comes out. <coughs> So we're at the Blue Lagoon. Oh. Paco Mendez. He's the guy who rented the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. Better be careful. Just like imagine he was a whistling noise.
time to play the sexy girl. Lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Papa. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh. I the way you move, Madison. You make me all hot under the collar. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. 
is all. Welcome to my little kingdom. So we'll do it right the first time, and then we'll go back and do it the second time to see, like, like all options. I'll take it. Like, what we'll Just have. get in the way of good things, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. I'll take it off. Slowly. Take it all off. Could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. Uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice? We already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. I'm sorry, um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. And I never take never for an answer. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. That was a nice view. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh! You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know, boss, when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? Yes? Where's Paco? I'm sorry, um, he can't come to the door right now. He's all, um, tied up at the moment. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> ah! If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. 
Watch the door! Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ah, ah. Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know! I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> To get out of here. I got a massive headache. Alright, guys, so this is gonna conclude matters for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just ended it right at the sexy girl one. Um, I had extra clips that I did, but I couldn't fit them all in. It would be like 53 minutes. I just didn't want to do that, so I'll just make it for tomorrow's episode. But anyway, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Thank you so much for all the support on the series. If you want to see this series get uploaded more consistently, make sure you just drop some support and let me know down in the comment section. Because that would help me out a lot. And that would uh, let me know, you know. Anyway. Yeah, please make sure you smack the like button and subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for 130 subs. It means a lot. Uh, share this video with your friends, your family, everyone you know. Tell them to smash the like button and tell them to sub. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. It's been the DSG Prodigy, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.